Welcome back to MPT. Today I'm talking about EIRP. As you will see, EIRP is essential for your phased array and if you get it wrong, your phased array will likely fail. Be sure to watch to the end and then download the white paper link below. In it, you'll find the equations for EIRP, some examples I provide, and some visuals. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. As I said, today I'm talking about EIRP, or Effective Isotropic Radiated Power. Specifically, I'm gonna describe what EIRP is, why it's essential for your phased array, and ways to improve your EIRP. So let's talk first about what EIRP is. It's a measure of the amount of power that's coming out of your, your ground terminal uh, in, in the case of a satellite system uh, that, that is on the target, which is your satellite. So it's the amount of power that your ground terminal puts on your satellite. But uh, it also applies to the satellite because your satellite is putting a signal back down to your ground terminal. So the EIRP from your satellite down your ground terminal is also important. And it's critical because EIRP is used in the link budget calculation, the link between your ground terminal and the satellite and between the satellite and your ground terminal. If your EIRP is not high enough, then your data rate will suffer. The data rate in the link between your satellite and your ground terminal will be less than what your specification is. That's why EIRP is critical in this particular example. I could give lots of other examples, but in the satellite example, that's why it's critical. And so then how is EIRP calculated? EIRP is calculated using the amount of power that's transmitted out of your antenna and the amount of gain that your antenna provides. So the amount of power that your antenna provides depends upon the high power amplifiers that are in your phased array. So if your HPAs or high power amplifiers are not putting out enough power, then your EIRP will be too low. And if your gain of your antenna itself is too low, then your EIRP will also be too low. So you have to get both of those things right. So how do you calculate EIRP? It's simply, in dB, it's simply adding the power that you have out of your, the face of your array to the gain of your antenna, the passive gain, both in dB units. So for instance, if your, the power out of the face of your array is 40 dBW and the passive gain of your antenna is 30 dBW, then your antenna will have an EIRP of 70 dBW, just 40 plus 30. And so there's an example of calculating EIRP and why it's so critical. Next, let's talk about how do you improve your EIRP. Obviously, the two things that you have to work with are the power that your antenna puts out and the passive gain of your antenna. So how do you improve that first item, the amount of power that your antenna puts out, your phase array delivers? It's by improving the power out of each of those high power amplifiers in your array. So you can do that by improving that, that output power in those HPAs by choosing devices that put out more power, such as maybe uh, high power gallium nitride devices, or by improving the efficiency, efficiency of your high power amplifiers or increasing the bias voltage on them. Uh, there are multiple ways to increase the power out of your high power amplifiers in your array, which will then in turn increase the output power of your array, which then will <laughs> increase your EIRP. But there are challenges when you increase the power that your array puts out, namely thermal. If you increase the HPA power, you also have to be able to dissipate that additional power or else your HPAs will, be, will get hot and the reliability will be decreased. So you have to be very careful using different techniques to include, improve your EIRP through improving the power that your antenna radiates. Second is 
the antenna gain that you have. Of course, what the simplest way to improve the gain of your antenna, the passive gain, is to increase the size of your antenna. Other, another way is to improve the efficiency of your antenna. Third, you can also improve the passive gain of the antenna element that you're using in your phase array. These are three common techniques for improving EIRP. So in summary, I've provided a description of what EIRP is, uh, some ways that you can calculate it and an example, and I've also provided a couple of methods for improving your EIRP. Thanks for watching. Next, download my white paper, link below. In it, I provide examples of how to calculate EIRP and why it's essential for your phased array development. Also, if you're interested in more information about EIRP or to start your own phased array development with the experts here at MPT, then visit our website at mptcorp.com. Until next time, this is Rick Sturdivant with MPT.